It is time, friends, for Need for Speed Heat. As you can clearly see, today's title, the video, everything is about the cops. Now, this is at the end of a race. I finished second. Uh, thankfully, my boy Cory managed to get some other footage as well with multiple different cars, as you will see throughout this video. But first things first, it's the Corvette. And can we say how good it sounds? They've changed the sound of it, made it sound even meatier. There's a lot of car change, car sound changes in the game, and it's 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 very very welcome indeed. Even though they already had bl bloody brilliant sounds as it is, they even proved them even more so. Anyway carrying on so going through this gameplay you're going to see a few things about how the cops work how they will tactically attack you now this build is i believe uh, four plus months old uh, this is not exactly the newest build so they're quite far off and again this is still not today's finished game it's still not finished in today's time but the police handle so well now the rhinos seem to spawn quite a lot, as you're going to see throughout this video. I'm going to talk and nitpick up a couple of things I noticed with the police. In this demo, essentially they had a day race, a night race, well, customization, day race, night race. And the night race then led into a police chase. The police chase actually began in the actual event, which is brilliant. I'm so happy that stuff is back actually starting an actual pursuit in an event, which is how it should be, in my opinion. Kind of like it's kind of cool. Anyway, so we got into a police chase and somehow it jumps us straight into a heat level 5 pursuit. So this is, I guess, ghost testing four months ago of the highest level of pursuits in the game. So level 5. Now, you can clearly see that I can drive through some of the gas stations. I believe some of them I couldn't actually drive through. It didn't actually work. I discovered some of them as I went around. I'm not exactly sure what the, the dealio there is. Oh, and before I forget. In the bottom right, I was told exactly what that icon does. It has since been changed, I imagine, what the icon does. It uh, looks like, should I say. It does something. Anyway, I'll tell you. It is to block the jammer, and I believe it's, it's something that you can equip. Uh, sorry, the kill switch, should I say. It, it, it kind of disables that. Because when you get kill switched in this, especially if a rhino is coming for you, you're basically dead. There's, there's no doubt about it. We did get kill switched once, and my, my, my boy Corey, who got me some footage, he does some writing for the website, if you didn't know that. Um, he, get hit, he gets hit by a kill switch. You'll see a little bit later. But I thought, yes, let's take some. Let's take this car off-roading. Very clearly, it is still penalized for the fact that you do go off-road, uh, and the fact that you go maximum 80 miles an hour, and this thing can clearly go a lot faster than that. So that's good, because... It's not, it's not an off-road car. If I built it as an off-road car, then sure. Okay. <laughs> I still kind of get over that hit. That hit is so, just seems so brutal. Some of the hits in, the, in these pursuits are absolutely insane. They are the demonic. They want to kill you. I swear. It is their main objective to kill. Not arrest you at this point. It is to kill you. And that's what they said about it. I haven't managed to play with the cops in the daytime because there weren't any cops in the daytime events. And obviously, it's a legal street race. So why would there be cops? Jesus. And so hopefully at some point soon we'll be able to actually show you some daytime cops and compare the two. Damage critical here. Uh, unfortunately, you don't actually get to see me die, which is something I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be quite interested to see. But no. The timing of the demo cuts off before we move on to the next time. So I finished fifth. Oh, no, this is Corey. Corey finished fifth, not me. All right. So we're now jumping to Corey, Corey's footage. This is when I went off to edit my first video to get it up for you guys as quick as I possibly could. And here we are with, again, another Corvette, but modified slightly differently. I think I think my taste is... No, I was very quick to modify. I was like, yeah, mate, I've got like 10 minutes left to record. Let's get it done. Anyway, smash onto the cop. He went flying. I don't know <laughs> what happened there. Very clearly, not a very heavy cop car. Anyway, I, I found a little trick, and I think Corey clearly figured that out too. And also, he managed to pop up a menu about uh, skipping narrative or something. I don't think he was meant to do that, but I'm not complaining. Anywho, how, the, how it seems to work with the rhinos. It tells you when they spawn, which I think is mistake number one. I hope that's an upgrade, like an option, because I would look personally, I want it so that when I pop my tires, 
It's so brutal though. When I pop my tires, I have the option to equip something to replenish the, the tires health. And option two, I want an option for the fact of telling me where the rhinos are because I don't want to know. It kind of ruins the whole point of the rhinos unless it's on the police radio because sometimes you don't listen to the police radio and it will make you listen. That, I think, is what should have happened. Get rid of that and make it an upgrade for the game to tell you. Just because it has that more element of fear, you can't, you can't just tell me that it's coming. Because if I know that it's coming, all I do is take a turn. If I turn off the street that I'm on, it won't be on that route of path anymore. It will just give up. It will just stop. And if, if you actually do end up being head-on, say it's like a single road, there's no turn-offs whatsoever. Well, you can either go off-road, but if you really, really don't want to, you can just turn very sharply as you get to it. And it, 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 it feels a little bit too easy. The rhinos are the easiest thing. And I remember back in the day, they were one of the most difficult and annoying things about the police. So I kind of wanted to see them be a bit more aggressive than just as they are. It seems a little bit... Um, I won't say pointless, but too easy compared to the very aggressive cops in general. Now, again, you can clearly see I'm doing, you know, 90 or 100 down these roads. And these cops are still flying up next to me. And you know what? It's weird because realistically that shouldn't happen. Realistically, these cops should not be flying up to me that quickly. Uh, again, these are stock cars. We never actually got to test how it's going to be with the higher end cars, which is something I really do need to test before I say, yes, it's the best cops ever. Because I've jumped to conclusions a few times before. And I apologize, Reddit. I am sorry. Okay. Please. Please stop. Please stop. I think right now, as I have played with a low-end car, at least compared to 2015, I don't have to stop to wait for the cops to chase me. It looks ridiculous. I shouldn't have to wait for the cops to chase me. That doesn't make any sense. This time... It seems to be a little bit different. I'm, I struggle to get away. I think Corey gets away. And only by luck in the next clips. But as far as this goes, it's pretty difficult to escape them. Again, this is heat level 5. I imagine it's going to be even more intense than this. Because I don't think we've got a helicopter on us very often. I imagine it's going to be more so or more aggressive when you actually do get to heat level 5 because again you're going to have the pursuit going on for so much longer than just being dropped to level 5 and then all of a sudden at the end of a race it was a bit it was a bit manic and again it's a demo it's not running at it's best so they probably removed some cop count or traffic count and stuff because realistically it wasn't running that great it was on a ps4 pro it was running at 4k which is 4k 30 some people are asking which is why it wasn't running so great these consoles aren't very good at running 4K. And again, I don't know if it's actually native 4K. It's probably a, a, an upscaled, semi kind of 4K thing that they normally do. The um, checkerboarded rendering. But it still looks great. Now how we're moving on to the last clip. As we said, he's just finished the race. And he's already escaping four minutes in. And, you know, I'm going to try and do this later today. So I can maybe get some exploration content for you guys. But... This was interesting because obviously he, he lost them straight away and now we get to see how it works if you want to actually get back into that pursuit if that happens. Now, the cops are clearly still on the map looking for you and if they see you, they will come back after you. That's that. You don't have to hit them. You just drive past them and they will come back after you. Considering that you are heat level 5, it makes total sense. And I was one that in the past I thought, when it comes to heat levels, I sort of kind of would prefer if this heat level stopped. But I think in this type of game, at least to see what people think of this game, this this idea that they've got where you, night is one run, you get as much rep as you can and you bank it. Kind of like how Rivals was, that's what, what they base it on. It would be, I think it would be stupid to keep the heat level <laughs> on this situation. Just the fact that if, I, it, it seems way too intense. I would like that tested in the future. I don't think this is the, the, best, the best way they could have done it, but I think that it's something that works for this game really, really well. Considering the fact that if I was racing around and I lost them, does that mean I go back to heat level? And then again, I say stay with heat level 5. So that session stays at that heat level. I don't know. I, I, I kind of like the way it's working on this for now. I will see more when I actually play the game because, again, this is just a demo jumping us into level 5. How will it be when we actually have our own cars and we have our own rules and 
all that kind of stuff. He got close to being killed on this one. I do want to know what happens if you die on this demo. So later, I may actually test that. See what happens when you die on this demo. But no, they keep up with you. They, they come around you really quickly. They're all in Corvettes, apparently. Nothing else. They ain't creative. I thought they'd be a little bit more creative than that. No, there are different cops. There are actually different colored cops during the day you would have seen in the trailer. They're, they're, like, they're lighter blue and white colors. There's the first kill switch we actually had done to us. But Busted Meter's flying up and he can only just go. It's like this. It was like this. Did you see the bar? It was so... Good save. Good save. So anyway, there you go, my friends. That has been the cops. My first initial impressions of the cops actually playing with them, seeing how they are. They seem so much more aggressive. I would say, I would say they're, they're the payback cops, but a little bit better. Okay, just a little bit better. And they're, they're better at kind of sticking with you. And, and, and obviously... The reason Payback Cops were so good is because they were on rails when you did those events where they actually had to like follow a specific route. That's why they were pretty good. But now, they're in the free roam, and I'd say they're a little bit better. So I'm impressed with what you've done, Ghost. It's very really clear that there's more cars on screen and more mayhem going on screen at once than the game can handle at times on the PS4 Pro, because some kind of frame lag is happening here. It then speeds up again a little bit. But hey. But there you go. That was our first look at the cop gameplay of Need for Speed Heat. If you did enjoy, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Oh.